apparently I'm live. I can't see on my iPad yet, but apparently we're live. So if, if you're watching this on one of the replays, hello, welcome along to the Martin Lynch and Sun showroom for this Saturday, Saturday the 7th of November. How is it November already? How's that happened? Uh, but welcome along. This is uh, a new thing we're trying here on, uh, on YouTube. Um, Tony did this last week, as well as what we do with our pre-recorded videos uh, as part of something for the weekend. We're also going to try and do a few more live bits and pieces as well. So uh, good afternoon. Uh, what we're going to do today uh, is we're going to have a quick look around the used shelves, because although you may have seen us do them on the something for the weekend video that we did yesterday and I took you around, well, that video was actually recorded on Thursday. So a lot has changed in what we've got and some items that we featured in that video have already uh, gone. Uh, so we're going to take you around that. And then also I'm going to do uh, a bit of a question and answer session as well. Uh, if you're with Tony for uh, one of these that he did last week, uh, he went on for about 45 minutes. Uh, I don't intend to go on that long, uh, but if you have any questions, feel free um, to, to ask away. Um, and I'm going to uh, answer, hopefully, if you've got any questions about anything that we do, um, do give me a call and I'll do, I'll do leave a comment and I will do my absolute level best uh, to answer. I hope you can hear me. Um, if you can't, please shout. Um, I'm, I'm wearing one of these clever microphones that apparently is, works magically into my phone. I don't really understand how it works. So if you can hear me, can someone just give me a big thumbs up? That would be excellent. Right, um, it's a one-person operation today. Uh, it's, it's, it's all me. Uh, we've got some of the other guys down the other end answering the phones and things like that. So I've escaped up this end of the showroom. Uh, but, but it means you get a lot of wobbly cam action, I'm afraid. So uh, uh, we're going to sort of turn around and have a look at what we've got on the U shelves at the moment. Obviously, at the moment, uh, with, the, uh, uh, with the current restrictions in place with... Um, uh, with the pandemic, uh, unfortunately, the showroom itself, it is closed, but we are keeping it nice and tidy for you. So next time you are allowed into the uh, the shop, you can, um, when you can't able to get into the shop, even uh, it will look nice and neat for you. So see, there are a few changes to um, on our U shelves and what you saw on uh, yesterday with our something for the weekend video. I have to say that a couple of the items you may see on the shelves have actually sold on the website already. They just haven't yet been uh, been picked and packed there that ts 2000 x there for instance has already been sold and that metro power uh, fx 775 has also gone as well but uh, we've got some new items that i need to to mention to you i want to mention so in um you may have seen i think in a couple of weekends ago uh, we mentioned this uh, communication receiver from linko the dx r 8 e that's still available and we've still got that but also uh, we've also now got it's a sort of sister, but the transceiver, uh, same money, it's got a few marks in it, that's why we're doing it for the same price, £399. Fully boxed, and you see it's sat on the box there, it's got everything in there with it, the mic, manual and DC cable. And uh, 100 watts out on, on HF, um, up to, to 10 metres, it, um, unlike a lot of other, um, uh, a lot like a lot of, uh, unlike a lot of other, um, HF radios, it doesn't have six meters on it. Uh, what else have we got on the shelves that's new that has come out today? Well, we've got an FT991 just sat there. Uh, that one is uh, just been put out today and it's now listed on the website as well. Uh, this one is supplied with the microphone and DC cable uh, in a very good condition. I have to say that um, my colleague John has done a stellar job in, in cleaning it up. It uh, had a few, um, well, it was grubby to be honest with you when uh, before we started it now looks absolutely fine. I'm trying my best. I'm not a cameraman, I will be honest with you. I, I haven't got Henry here who normally records all our videos. I'm far too used to just sort of standing behind the camera when he's doing this bit and uh, and not being too involved. But there you go, that's the, uh, the 991 just sat there. Uh, also still got a 7700 sat there. If you want 200 watts, you want a nice big base station, 7700 is just sat there. Uh, what else have we got? Oh, this is... Um uh, this uh, this this one's an interesting story. This FT four fifty, um, it's uh, it sold and then it it's not sold. Uh, had a customer who placed a deposit on it. He's decided that he's he's going to press ahead with a different radio. So the this four fifty is now back up for sale. Uh, I'm sure you know I've I, I um, beat it on a long time about the FT four fifty. I I used to own one. I still have one. My dad still has it. Uh, absolutely fantastic radio for HF and six meters. A perfect entry level radio uh, if you are. Um, uh, if, if you're in the market for something small, something really portable, um, the only thing that you might want to buy, if you aren't going to take it portable, is that you might want to buy the handle for it, as this one doesn't have it. 
but uh, yeah, box and complete, I believe, at uh, £549. That is a, a nice price for an FT450. Got also there a YT1200 from LDG. So if you've got a, a 450 or a 1200 or even a 950, you'll work with it. And uh, the internal tuner is not quite doing the thing for you. That's a really good option. Uh, also got, uh, as we mentioned, uh, I think in the video yesterday, an MC60. Uh, the Kenwood desktop microphone, uh, that's now on the website and ready to go at £99, that one. Uh, we did mention that, I believe that's also sold on the website overnight, but uh, I'll give it a brief mention, the FTM 400. You may have seen in the video we did yesterday, comparisons of the FTM 300 versus the FTM 400. Uh, what else can I mention? Uh, we have got, uh, oh, we've got over here, this isn't something we don't see very often, a Drake uh, MN2700. This is the... Um, the two kilowatt uh, tuner from uh, Drake, uh, made in, in the United States, uh, back in, well, you know, in Ohio, back in sort of the 70s. It's got a few marks in it. it it's, it's, been, um, it's been well loved, I'm going to say, but it's still very good. Uh, it's um, in a really nice condition, obviously been tested thoroughly by our workshop. Um, apparently the MN2700 sold last night. It can't have sold last night, I haven't put it on the website today, so it must have sold already, but there we go, that's, uh, uh, that's there. What else have we got? Uh, an IC9100 just set up there, the fully loaded one. Um, give us a call, I'm sure we can do something on this one, to be honest with you. Uh, fully uh, boxed and complete, and this one, I say, it is fully loaded. So it has got uh, the D star board in it, it's got the 23 SEMS unit in it, and it's also got both of the optional filters, uh, the FL431 and the FL432. Uh, but it is in stock. It is absolutely boxed and complete with the uh, the mic and DC cable, uh, just 19.99 listed for. So give us a call. I'm sure we can do something on that. I've got just an 818 just sat there. A lovely little uh, six watts from uh, from Yesu HF um, six two and seventy. Again boxed and uh, complete there. Uh, with uh, I think it may even have the map. A lot of people ask for the maps. Um, oh, Mars has now just changed that to 529, lovely. Uh, SR100 for Microsat, I don't know why John hasn't quite got out of the box, but uh, I'll, I'll do that off camera in a minute, but it is pictured on the website, uh, the 100 watt uh, uh, linear from, uh, from Microsat for, for two meters. Uh, that's, uh, that's a nice uh, buy as well. Uh, I believe that is up at, let me just double check, yeah, £199, a really nice price. Uh, what else can I talk about? Not, um, not second-hand, but brand new. These uh, really nice um, SWR uh, meters for, uh, for VH, HF, VHF, UHF, the RS502. Uh, single needle display on that one. Uh, they are in stock, ready to go. And uh, also, if you want um, uh, separate cross needles, then Diamond SX20 and the SX40 are available. Um, oh, what else we got? Oh, this has only just come in today. Uh, an MFJ931. Uh, uh, that's the, the artificial ground from FJ. Uh, I'm, getting, I'm getting directions for the 705. Okay, we'll go over to the 705. That's, that's over this direction. Um, here it is. It's not, but not yet switched on, so we can switch it on. Of course, i705 is available from stock now. Uh, it's um, plenty in stock. Obviously, in the showroom, we have it with the, the optional bracket, the quick release bracket. Uh, which is, if you've already got a 705 and you haven't got the quick release bracket, you don't know you need one until you get one. Trust me on that one. Uh, I've been playing with it on our 705 here. Um, with the um, A, it gives you a really handy uh, SO239, so rather than having to uh, use adapters off the side of the BNC. Uh, and uh, also gives you a nice handy port for a uh, ground as well. So I know a lot of people are trying to use sort of handheld type antennas with the 705 and not getting very good results. And it doesn't surprise me to be honest because a handheld often uses the chassis of the handheld itself and you as a way of, of grounding the antenna. Whereas what you could do with the quick release bracket is pop a small mobile whip on the SO239, maybe something like a Diamond AZ504 um, and a quarter wave length of wire onto the ground stop. And that would work really, really nicely for you, especially if you're gonna go portable, maybe you're gonna go uh, up a SOTA and you want to have a play. It's a really, really easy way of doing it. So the 7, i 705 itself, I say, is available from stock, uh, just 12.99.95. Uh, and um, yeah, if you give us a call, we can obviously get one of those into your hands uh, very quickly. Now I'm gonna 
pop this back over here and uh, and see if there's any questions coming in that uh, that I need to be addressing. Um, lots of people saying that they can hear me absolutely fine. That's that's good. I'm pleased about that. Um, Right, good. And any questions you want to ask? Anything on anything on the shelves that you want me to focus in on? Obviously, there, there's a lot on our shelves. There's more added every single day. Um, Martin's also mentioned the fact we've got the Mat 705 tuner back in stock too. Yes, we do. Uh, Mat 705 is available from stock. So if you've already got a 705 um, and uh, you you need a tuner for it, maybe you don't. Maybe your antenna is not as resonant as you, as you thought it was, uh, and the 705 is complaining about it. Mat 705 is available. So I'm really easy. Uh, to set up and use um, with the 705. It's a case of plugging it in, giving it a quick click on the PTT on the microphone, and there we go. Uh, HF remote antenna switch. Uh, so remote antenna switches. So we have uh, available MFJ do a couple of options, um, and we also have uh, the uh, Rat Pack solution from Array Solutions as well. Uh, please talk about that large magnetic loop. Okay, let's let's spin the camera around. So. This is something we don't do very often. Uh, so over here in this corner of the showroom uh, is the baby loop. I'm not sure how much of it you can actually see then. Let's see if I can, uh, there we go. Oh, on the shelf behind, okay, we'll do both. Let's talk briefly about the baby loop first. So this is the baby loop. This is uh, in our fantastic red, white, and blue colors. Uh, not normally in those colors, I have to say normally they're silver. Uh, but the Cerro Mazzoni baby loop is uh, a magnetic loop antenna for 40 meters through to 10 meters. Uh, it wants to be, now a lot of people are miss, get the sort of um, the height of the antenna that they mount it a bit wrong. The height you see it here, maybe slightly higher, is about right. They don't want to be high up in the air, nice and low to the ground. Uh, they also want to really be on a rotator as well. So if you're going to put one of these as a permanent installation, uh, you might want to consider something like a G450C uh, in order to, to rotate the antenna because these have really deep nulls and the um, the main uh, radiation is in the plane of the loop. Uh, so that's just something to bear in mind. Absolutely brilliant though, because being so directional and having those really deep nulls means that if you've got a particular noise source in a particular direction, you just turn the loop until you can't hear it anymore. That's the baby loop. Now, someone also mentioned they wanted to see the stealth loop. That's over this direction, uh, which as I was on the uh, on the shelf up behind me. Let's just spin the camera around. So up there is the stealth loop, which is, it's sort of Sarah Mazzoni's idea of um, a way of um, coming up with a, a portable type antenna. I'm not sure how portable it would really be in reality, but if you're really limited on space and you don't want anything permanent at all, the stealth is absolutely fine. Uh, someone's asking about the power input. On the baby loop you saw behind me, um, the, the loop controller, let's just talk about this. Loop control, controller uh, is the, the controller that controls all three loops in the series, the stealth loop, the midi loop, and the baby loop. Um, that controller will handle 200 watts. The stealth loop itself will handle 200 watts. That's nice and easy. The, the baby loop in the corner, and indeed the midi loop as well, will handle a little bit more, but don't transmit any more than 200 watts through the controller. And there's also a request I saw to see the uh, midi loop as well. So we're gonna go outside the building. And uh, this is... Uh, see how, how quiet our road is on a, uh, on, on a Saturday afternoon. And if we spin around and go right up there, there you go, you can see our, our MIDI loop as well that's up on uh, the top of the building. Uh, and next to our E antenna, Mini uh, 6B, uh, which is a lovely antenna for, uh, for 40 through to uh, 10 meters. Um, it just includes all bands actually, uh, 40, 20, 17, 15, 12 and 10. And above that, oh sorry, above that the V2000. Sorry, I said I wasn't a cameraman, didn't I? Uh, so there we go. That's uh, that's the, um, the frontage of the of the showroom. Of course, talking about the showroom, you can still um, click and collect an order from uh, from the site. So uh, if you order online or over the phone, you can still uh, pick your order up in store. We've set up this uh, this counter here, uh, which enables so you come here, you press the button, and we will. Uh, one of us will come out with your order. Uh, nice and easy solution to uh, to get around the, the current lockdown restrictions. or well, get around the book to comply with the, the current lockdown restrictions that are in place. Right, that's uh, back where we were. Anything else? Any other questions at the moment? Uh, uh, Gary is commenting on, on, the, uh, on the baby loops. Gary, you're on holiday, 
stop it. Go, go and enjoy your holiday. Um, uh, we've got stuff about the baby loops. Anything else we want to see? Uh, Paul say must be something I need. I'm sure there is, Paul. I'm sure there is. Uh, Rob server we've done mag loops. That's fine. Uh, excellent. Well, I'm glad the audio is okay. What else can I talk about on a side? I don't normally get this opportunity just to talk to you. We could talk brief, briefly about what we've got from, uh, from Kenwood. Uh, we've got the uh, TS990, which is the, uh, um, obviously the, the big flagship from, from Kenwood, and it's, it's baby brother, the, the 890 as well. Uh, what have we got here? Uh, looking for a tripod, like for a 270 base antenna. Um, okay, Kenny, so... Let's have a think. What you could do with those, we do a bracket, uh, which if you look at our website, called an ATAS bracket, which on the, uh, has a, it's a big sort of chunky um, aluminium bracket, which has, uh, go over a two-inch pole. So you could use, we also do a big sort of tripod that we use for the, as a temporary installation uh, for the baby loopers. Swap our baby loopers on one over there. There's sort of a the big sort of tripod there. Uh, so you could use, um, you could use that along with the, the ATAS bracket, as we call it, which has an SO239 uh, top and bottom. Plug a, um, a piece of coax into that with a PL259 on, a put a mobile antenna on top of that. It's also got a nice grounding stuff, so you could run a, a quarter wave length of a wire as a counterpoise as well. That would work really nicely. Um, i trying to think if there's anything else that would do the job just as well. Um, antenna to switch top shelf. Antenna switch on the top shelf. I can't see an antenna switch on the top. Oh, there's a there's a small two-way antenna switch. I'm not sure if it's that one. Um, HF mobile antennas. Blimey. Um, okay, so HF mobile. There's a couple of questions that are related to that. Is are you actually going to go try and go mobile with it, as in while you're driving down the road, or is it something you want to do static mobile? Um, but in the in the Sort of two scenarios. Um, if you're running a Yaesu radio, the, the easiest way of doing HF mobile is to pick up one of the uh, the ATAS uh, 120A antennas, um, which will work on eight, um, 40 upwards, so uh, 40, um, 40, even 30, 20, 15, 12, and 10. If I missed, missed out 17 meters, we'll do 17 as well. Um, as well as 6 meters, 2 and 70 SEMs. Now, if you're running something like an 857 or an I91A, you're going to need a duplexer, you're going to need a Diamond MX62M on that one uh, in order to use the antenna on 2 and 70. Um, if you want single band antennas, then we do a range from Diamond. Let's just pull the camera and take it over there. Um, so over on our shelves, we've got some in stock just here. So we do some single band whips, uh, the HF80, uh, 40, 20, and six. Uh, they work really nicely as well. Uh, and if you want something just to have a play around with, but not actually go mobile with, but so maybe when you're pulled up at the side of the road, we do the, the SPX300, which is our own, um, our own Mydal one, which do HF, VHF, um, nine band from, uh, Oh, actually it says there, so it's just HF, isn't it? Things about looking at the, the frequency range, it's 80 meters through to six. Uh, that's quite nice. It's got these sort of jumper cable where you uh, short out parts of the coil. They work really nicely. Um, and there's also, um, if I've got any in stock, uh, we also do an antenna called the M830-800, which is a similar design, but it's got a sliding section, much like the ATAS. Right, what else have we got? Let's uh, grab my iPad, that's what I'm using to, uh, to read comments off from. Uh, antenna switch top shelf in the corner. Oh, there we go, okay, right, fine. Yeah, so that was actually what I mentioned earlier on. So we've got the, uh, the rat pack, which is, that's actually the controller, that's not the, the, um, the switch itself. Uh, and then there's the stack matches too. So the stack match is um, designed for sort of directionality, so you can set it in different directions. Um, the Rat Pack, which we haven't actually got, that's just the controller for it, but there is the switch. You can see the full pictures on our website, hamradio.co.uk. If you just search in the top search bar for Rat Pack, uh, you will definitely find it. Um, have we got any of the Diplex? Unfortunately, we don't have any of the MX62s. I don't believe we have. 
Let's walk down that way to the uh, to the type extra, shall we? Um, so we're going to go past all of the antennas, past some uh, some X30s and VX4000s. Yeah, I was right. So we've got MX3000 and MX3000Ns. Good if you've got an i 700 The fact we've got MX3000Ns in stock, they are like hen's teeth at the moment. Uh, MX2000s, if you need uh, to spill off HF6 and uh, HF6 on one side, uh, two meters in the middle, and then uh, 77s up on the right, and then MX3300 MNs up there. Of course, we have got um, MX62s on their way, uh, just not quite here yet. Uh, anything for 11 meters. We do a lovely um, uh, E antenna uh, delta loop for 11 meters, um, which will do the job very nicely. It's also designed for a number of other bands. You'll also work on 10 absolutely fine, and you'll uh, persuade it down onto 12 and 15. Uh, but yeah, have a look on our website for the Delta uh, 11, I think it's called, off from my head. Uh, Paul says that's 1.857. Yeah, so the, um, the MX62 would definitely be the one. If you've got an 857 or an 857D, which is what I have in my car with an ATAS, uh, that works absolutely fine. Uh, recommendations for an HF loft antenna. Um, depends on the size of the loft, to be honest with you. So I know a number of people who try magnetic loops in the loft. Um, you might be able to use a stealth loop in the loft, to be honest with you. That would probably work quite nicely uh, if you've got, um, if you've got sort of nice free space around it. Um, alternatively, simple wire antennas. If you've got enough room in the loft, uh, you could try running um, uh, sort of a shortened doublet, uh, or you could run an N-fed. We do a uh, we do a number of nine to one anuns uh, from, we do one from LDG, which is just over 30 pounds, uh, which is an RU91. Um, that will do the trick and a, and a random length of wire. Um, or if you can get a half wavelength on the lowest band you want to operate, we've started doing a 49 to one uh, end fed half wave uh, transformer. If you watched the video that we put out yesterday, Richard, my colleague did a nice segment on the 49 to one and I used one, um, I, I actually bought one um from from martin um in order to use on the cq worldwide contest a couple of weeks ago i used one of those with a, a vertical uh, one of the dx commander vertical and um poles with a bit of wire um, up the side of it taped to the side and that worked very well indeed um what else we got what do, you, what do i need to use an atas 120 in the loft you would struggle to use an ATAS-120 in the loft, I'll be honest with you. It, technically, it is possible. The thing with, a, with an ATAS, and particularly with any mobile antenna, grounding is vital. Um, when it's on a car, you need a really good solid connection onto the chassis for grounding purposes. I can tell you from experience, my ATAS, I've still not got it right. My ATAS does not want to tune on my car on 20 meters when it's raining. I've not worked out 40, absolutely fine all the time. 20, it has issues with it. Uh, so that's, um, uh, that's, that's something to bear in mind. Uh, so if you could give it a good ground uh, plane in the loft, it would technically work. Um, but if you could get something, you know, an ATAS is a very much a compromise for space. It really is. Hence why it's designed as a mobile antenna. So if you can get a little bit more wire up in the loft or something that's be a little bit more naturally resonant, that was gonna work a little bit better for you. Uh, I use Atas Mechani with Rail than Earth. Yep, that absolutely. So Atas, I have to say, a lot of people say that the Atas, a lot of people have issues with um, Atas. And in fact, a lot of people have issues with screwdriver antennas. Atas is, is not the only one, of course. There's also things like the Tar Heel, uh, which we do as well. But with mobile installations, and I think um, there's probably a good series of videos in this as well about how to do HF mobile effectively. Uh, it, it is all in the grounding. It is all in getting that good ground onto the vehicle chassis, and that's something you've got to do. Um, thinking of getting a diamond, A1430 S7 dual band, are they suitable for, um, I think it's supposed to be a small space, uh, and what kind of rotator? Uh, a small rotator would be absolutely fine. Uh, G450 would, would probably be overkill to be honest, but that's a lightweight rotator that we've got. Uh, that would do the trick absolutely fine. 23 sems directional antenna. Watch this space. Um, do you think you deserve a medal for doing this? No, I don't. Uh, right, well, anything else? Uh, any other questions we've got here? I'm just going back through. I don't think so. Looking at that. Um, 
Excellent. Anything, anything else you want to see? We're in the showroom. We've got everything at our disposal. Anything else that you want to see? This is guided by you. Um, anyone saying a pint? <laughs> I'd love one. Uh, can I have a nice, um, nice pale ale, please? That'll do me absolutely down to the T. Can someone tell you what? If someone could present me at Newark next year a pint as we arrive, that'll be. That's a challenge. If you can do that, that'd be amazing. Uh, right, I think we'll call it there for the day. Last, any questions? Uh, Gary's asking, is his desk covered in boxes? Um, I mean, define covered, Gary. It's, there are some. It's not covered. Uh, do you have any Kenwood 990 in stock secondhand? Uh, unfortunately not at present, but do keep your eyes on our website, hamradio.co.uk slash used, or if you um, uh, give, uh, give me an email, uh, just jonathan at hamradio.co.uk, I can add you to my little black book and let you know as and when. Um, wire antennas. Um, what kind of wire antennas? We've got, we've got all sorts, we've got G5RVs, we've got NFEDs, we've got just by name a wire antenna, we've, we've pretty much got it in stock. There's uh, nice wire antennas from E-Antenna, the, um, the double bazookas. They're, they're really nice. Um, what else we got? Uh, oh, not mention. Uh, I'd, I'd kill myself if I didn't mention these. Go this, it's come this way. And it's give Gary an opportunity to, um, um, to have a look at his desk. But we've got the, um, uh, the, the DX series from Alpha Delta. Our most popular in this range being the DXCC. Uh, which will do 80, 40, 20, 15, and 10. 82 foot long, it's a, um, it's a fan stroke trapped dipole, so it's trapped on uh, 80 and 40, and then you've got separate wire elements for 20, 15, and 10. Uh, being, obviously being a dipole, it's fantastically, uh, fantastically resonant and fantastically works. Uh, but there's also other options, there's the DXLB, if you want to do 160, 80, and 40. Um, and there's the DXEE, which I don't think we've got any here, but there's the DXEE, which if you can't fit the DXCC in for, uh, for 80 meters, the DXEE will do um, 20, 40, 20, 15, and 10. All uh, right, anything else? Uh, Ed, can we, any recommendations for a VHF UHF tri-band for the 7100 mobile? Uh, yes, we do. Uh, we do an antenna, which is our own uh, brand, which is a CR627. Um, that'll get you going on 6.2 and 17, no problem at all. Uh, what's your best 10 meter vertical antennas? Um, uh, the e antenna do a good 10 meter vertical if you're after something um, as a base station, if you want something portable, uh, then you can construct something on a DX commander pole quite easily. You could do a full wave on a DX commander pole, uh, or if you're looking mobile uh, in that uh, diamond series I showed you earlier on, there is a 10 meter variant of that. Uh, I called the large UK shops to buy F3. I'm trying to give you the best service all of them. Thank you very much indeed. Um, right, I think that I'm going to call it there for today. Uh, of course, we are still on the website at hamradio.co.uk where the shop is open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Uh, of course, see, we're actually here in Staines until uh, half past four today and then back open uh, on Monday from 8.30. So do give us a call. And of course, if you want to click and collect anything, you can place the order online. Um, as the delivery option, do click on collect at store uh, and we can uh, then you can come and collect your order from us uh, absolutely fine and in very much a COVID secure way. Uh, all very quickly, Sean says, any flex radios? Yes, we've got uh, just over here, not currently switched on, but we've got a, a flex 6400M on display. Uh, not second hand, that is our display unit, uh, but we've got uh, new flex radios in stock as well, 6400, 6400Ms are available from stock. Right, uh, I, uh, oh, what's the large shoe box you have in stock? I would have to check my stock. I don't know off the top of my head, to be honest with you. Um, but certainly if we haven't got us, if we haven't got them in stock, uh, we can always get them. Um, our, our UK supplier can get a stock with only a few days. So that's no problems whatsoever. Right, I'm going to, um, uh, to, to leave it there. Thanks very much indeed. Thanks to Tony, who's just uh, messaged in there as well. See you Monday, Tony. And uh, no doubt, uh, we'll see you very soon. From now, bye-bye.